we're shining the sunrise spotlight on the Oregon Zoo with a segment that will show off some rhinos. There they go. Yep, we've got the rhinos, we've got the tigers, and we've got some black bears. Oh my. In fact, a lot of you will be saying oh my when you watch this next segment because <laughs> this is not a cute and cuddly zoo story. This one falls more in the um, down and dirty category because this one focuses on what comes out of the animals and how the zoo uses that um, material to learn a little bit more about them. <laughs> what we have here is a brand new Drew at the Zoo that's all about animal poo. Hey Drew, are you almost done? Yeah, I think this is my last pile. No, we have three more piles down and lower. What comes out must go back in. In this case, we're talking about animal excrement or wildlife waste. Some of what lands out here makes its way over here to the Oregon Zoo's endocrine lab. Allow me to introduce you to Dr. Nadia. She is the head of animal welfare and research here at the Oregon Zoo. So the big question is what happens inside the endocrine lab day to day? The endocrine lab is really a hormone lab. So the biggest thing we do usually, and this is what we call our gold mine, is poop samples. And in the wild, biologists, when they find one poop sample, they're happy. But we get tons of it, and we get them on animals that people usually can't get their hands on. So we learn things that help the animals in the wild. I also want to introduce you to Dr. Laurel, who's been working here at the lab for the last six years. So I'm hoping you can give me an example of an animal at the zoo whose poo you use to learn something interesting about that animal. Yeah, so we had a pregnant rhino named Josie, and we were the first people to find out she was pregnant because we were able to uh, look at the amount of progesterone in her fecal sample. So they have a gestation period that is significantly longer than humans. She would have hidden it for a long time if we didn't have this data. Is there something about poo samples that maybe works better than say blood samples to really learn about an animal? So when it comes to poo samples, an animal can leave it and walk away. When it comes to blood samples, you have to essentially stress the animal out by getting a blood draw. Um, all of our animals here are trained for voluntary blood draws, so it's slightly less stressful, but it's still a big deal to get a blood sample from an animal. I think we have time for one more animal poo story. So what do you got for us? Yeah, so we have two very young tigers and they are starting to show signs of going through puberty. And I am able to look through their poo once again and figure out roughly how high their testosterone levels are. We're monitoring them to make sure that we are on top of knowing who's starting to get really excited for mates and they're starting to look for other social opportunities. And with that, we are through with this Drew at the Zoo, all about the poo. Now tell me you didn't learn something just now. Well, I learned there's, you know, usually you can tell if you ate asparagus, for example, but I learned there's more to be found than that. <laughs> all so, right. Uh, in all seriousness, <laughs> Dr. Nadia, Dr. Laurel, we saw the two doctors in that segment, yes. really passionate about their work. And they were like chomping at the bit to be a part of the Drew at the Zoo segment. Because you don't really see the endocrine lab, right? It's like behind the scenes, not normally talked about. They're doing great work there every day. We wanted to give them some love, and there it was. That is super interesting. Thank you, Chris. Yes. Thank you, Chris. And also that you have the poo hat, too, that you, you had that, that prepared. Yeah, yes, I, I saw that today, again. That was cool. Left it there at the zoo. Do uh, you want him to talk about something else at the zoo? Because I can do that, too. Zoo lights? Yeah, zoo lights. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's talk about zoo. I love zoo lights. Zoo lights happening at the zoo until <laughs> January 5th.